penalty. We will keep you posted on that process. A lot of you have been asking why the Department for Children and Families didn't do something to help Zoe. DCF leaders faced questions about it today. 13's Callie Holthouse is here with their response. Melissa, today I sat in on the Joint Committee on Child Welfare System Oversight, where leaders of different child welfare groups came together and DCF was under the spotlight. In the past two years alone, Topeka police have responded to 23 calls at the house where Zoe Felix sometimes stayed with her mother, Holly Felix, including a September 5th welfare check alleging a child was living at the address without electricity. TPD confirmed the house was without power, but learned the child was not staying there. The incident was reported to DCF. So I actually do not have the legal ability to say anything in a public setting um, until certain additional things happen related to um, making a finding of abuse or neglect. It, I know it sounds, it sounds technical, but it's a law and it's really about protecting children and families. Records show that on June 15th, Holly Felix was put on an 18-month probation for aggravated battery for which she received a felony conviction and DUI. Her probationary period started in mid-June, a condition of which prohibits Holly from contacting her daughter Zoe. It's unclear if that condition was upheld. Despite public outcry at conditions in which Zoe Felix was living and the lack of action to improve them, DCF maintains its confidence in the services it provides. We have to have those robust services at the community level and across all of our systems um, to meet those needs. Senator Molly Baumgartner pressed Laura Howard, the Secretary for Children and Families, for answers in a meeting Wednesday morning. Could you help explain why it is that you are not going to comment about the five-year-old girl publicly today? Um, and the circumstances around for rape and murder. While one court document shows there's no contact order, Shawnee County Corrections Director Brian Cole told us that is a standard form, and since DCF did not remove Zoe from the home and there was no order ending parental rights, probation supervision went forward. No